In this Bad Next video, we're jumping into RSG, that's right, real SIM gear, and the 430. We're going to go ahead, configure one, set it up, download the snippet, and get you going. Let's go ahead and hop into it. So the first thing you need to do is shut down your real SIM gear interface. Of course, if the SIM's not running, that isn't a problem. But these are serial devices, therefore only one thing can grab them at a time. Now, I've only got one device plugged in, so this will be a little bit easier for me to figure out uh, because I'll only have one serial dice device to pick from. However, if you've got multiple devices, it might be best to unplug the others at first until you can identify what each one is doing. And to do that, hop into Device Manager and you'll be good to go. So now that we're in SPAD, usually you, all you need to do is you're going to head over to the Settings tab. In there, you're going to go to Devices, you're going to go to Serial Devices, you're going to make sure that Serial Devices are enabled, and you're going to add a new device you're going to get a pop-up on the screen that's going to look like this. You're going to pick the serial port, and as I mentioned, since I only have one device connected, it's real easy for me to identify that it is COM3. You're going to pick from the list of protocols. There's the SPAD protocol for the native Arduino uh, serial interface, though you could use it with other devices as well. Uh, there is the Real Sim Gear protocol and the VR Insight. So you go ahead, you pick Real Sim Gear, and there are no other settings that you have to do. You go ahead and you click OK. So we switch way, we switch back. We can see that COM3 will be set up uh, for the Real Sim Gear device. When we come back to the panels, currently we won't see anything. So you need to hit close and relaunch SPAD next. So let's go ahead and close it and launch it. And as we load in and it does its thing, looking left, looking right, initializing devices, and we come back in. So we head over to our panels page and we're gonna find that the Real Skin Gear GNS430 is now available. We can go ahead and click on any knob or button, come over here to the online snippets section. It's going to go online and it's gonna search for available snippets. As you can see, it breaks it down. It knows it's a GNS430. You can also uncheck for current aircraft. Uh, that way it would be any aircraft or any snippet that may be published. Uh, currently, these are all available. Under the complete device, because I want to replace everything, I can find the snippet that myself published or there are others who have published them previously. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to say yes, since I have nothing assigned to the device. And it's going to go ahead and it is going to replace everything. Don't forget to hit save. So now when I come in, I look at the knob. I now have the clockwise and counterclockwise. So the knob right, knob left, uh, the outer, so the fat knob, the bigger knob, and of course, pushing on the event. For some events like clear, you'll see there is a push short and a push long. So you have the long event for the hold clear uh, and other places where that may take place. Uh, you you may have those, but that's it. That's all you got to do to get your real sim gear 430 connected and hooked up to the 430 events. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.